Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoTraxure Machine Expert Training. In this video, what we're going to see is how we can work with the comparison blocks and function that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. Here we can see the, I'm going to focus only in three different languages that we have in the Machine Expert, which is the ladder, the CFC and the structure test. So in the first column, you can see that these are the just put in. these are the function blocks that we have in the software. Okay. And in order to find that you have on the toolbox and the mod operator these comparisons. And also in the toolbar, you have these icons over here. So if we go to the software, just open the software here, depend on the POU that we have. So let me just add a POU training this one ladder. We just need to select ladder. So when we select the run, we can see in the top, okay, all the different elements. Now our case for comparison are over here. Okay, so what this comparison does is to compare different variables okay values but the variable that you have must match so if we need to compare something probably what we need to do is to use the conversion just to match the same variable type and the output is going to be always a boolean variable okay so if you go to the toolbox here you can see in the <laughs> math operations okay that we have the different comparison blocks. So this is only for the ladder, how you can make the comparison with the blocks. So let's go to the um, CFC, okay, which is different for ladder. It looks like to um, the function block diagram, okay? So if we now create uh, another PVU training, CFC and select the CFC or page oriented. Okay, add. Okay, if you have this different, it means that you have already. Um, this is not the default view of the CFC. Okay, you can configure that on the options and CFC editor, view, display, and everything. So here, um, the information is in the toolbox but compared with the ladder we don't have all the different functions that we have so what we need is the box and inside the box if you know the name of the function block we just literally tap it okay so uh if it's equal eq you can see the icon okay if you don't see the icon it means that you have over here options cfc view show box icon Okay, here you can and the enable output. Okay, in case you don't want, in case you want to execute the comparison and want the exact time, you can do that. And if you don't know the name of the function blocks, what you can do is to click on these question marks, this over here, and you have keywords. Here in the keywords, you have more functions, okay? But you can find here PQ equal, greater equal, greater than, done, less equal, less done. So this is information that you can find over here. And the last one, okay, is the structure test that I show you over here. So instead of using this, uh, the names, of the function we just can use the icons as you can see over here okay to make the comparison less than less than or equal you have all the definitions probably the ones that you need to take a look is the not equal okay depending on the software it can change okay or you can use the exclamation and equal if i'm wrong that's another way but not in machine export so you can use this one and let me just go to the software once again. 
And let's create now, just delete this one. Let's create another PUU, that is training. ST for a structure test here. Good. So now. The other important thing that we have if we work with the structure test is another comparison that it uses the case function. So basically the case, what it does is once you have this syntax over here, case of, you can use a variable. So based on the variable that you have, you can define different actions depend on the variable. So. In this case, as you have seen in the right part, I have, for example, this I step is a int variable. So the software, what it does is, okay, see if this I step is equal to zero, then I can execute something in the code. If it's one, then I execute something else. If it's two, it execute something else. And if this I step is any other or any has any other value instead of these three it just execute this okay so this is another comparison compared with the for example this that we have over here that based on the comparison you can execute something over here okay so now if we continue this let's we have already created this part okay we have already created the ladder cfc and st
So this is how you can make a comparison. Now let's focus on the case so we can execute different uh, actions depending on the value. You can see here if you want to make something like a case, you will need to make different comparisons over here. So if we go back here, let's log out training. So I'm going to create a variable, for example, um, boom, I mode. So depending on the mode that you have selected, uh, mode control, this one would be integer value. So case of case, uh, I mode CTRL control of. So if the value is zero, you can specify, for example, a uh, string variable, um, string uh, mode is equal to, let's see, uh, no mode selected. And for example, if this So I just turn T manual mode, manual mode. You can add more code over here, okay? Just um, to, 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 for example, um, to, to, to set uh, motor is true automatic mode this one is going to turn it off false now i need to create these variables over here string probably here i'm going to put this just a string here this one is going to be a boolean value okay as you can see here in the local has all has been created here else else it's gonna be um, like a fatal error I think this is a syntax let's double check else perfect so now we need to execute this so we need to call the SD over here in the mast so if everything goes well we should be able to see this work. Okay, login. So here you can see the normal selected is in zero. So as soon as select the tan, the per value, debug, right values. Okay, you can see the manual mode is selected. So even if I select all the conditions over here, it just go only to the one that it matches to make the comparison. So here, if I press 20, debug, right values, here, automatic mode. And if I select um, 78, debug, right values, fatal error is selected. Okay. So this is how we can use the comparison blocks in and different syntax in the machine expert using uh, the different kind of language that we have for the controller. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.